Hi guys, happy new year. Happy new year. Um, this video is actually by request. Okay. Um, we have some, we have a lot of people who feel they've been cursed or that they have bad luck or something is bothering them or they're being spiritually attacked. Let's talk about this. Okay. So y'all already know how I feel about it on every level. Depending on what level of uh, consciousness you're on, this is going to be different, okay? People handle their problems based on their level of consciousness, okay? So in order for us to solve any issue, we have to understand what level of consciousness we're on in order to solve a problem, okay? In some, on some levels of consciousness, people will burn a candle and, you know, burn some sage. On another level of consciousness, people will, you know, do a reversal or, you know, a blessing and, you know, take a spiritual bath and, you know, all of the above. On another level of consciousness, people will laugh and be like, whatever, and don't even believe in it. On another level of consciousness, people will say, well, <laughs> If they're using spirits and energies against me, then why can't I just make friends with those same energies and spirits and use them for what I want them to do? If they can do it, I can do it. <laughs> you know, what makes them more powerful than me? If they can deal with spirits and putting curses on people, then whatever spirits and curses they sent to me, I can turn them into a blessing. You know, that's how you got to look at it. Yeah. Okay? So think of spirits, curses, and blessings as, um, you know, let's go back to fifth grade or sixth grade when you had this girl who did not like you. And so she started rumors and told all her friends to treat you bad. Okay. And they did. Oh my gosh. You know, um, now, if you can take those same friends and use them for your own benefit and turn the tables, why wouldn't you? Are you just going to run and let people bully you and be afraid and, you know, think you're less powerful? Or do you fight fire with fire? You know, um, <laughs> it's just like when. When someone wants a, uh, a basketball player on their team, they're going to offer them certain incentives <laughs> to get them on their team, you know? So it's the same thing. You put up a nice altar instead of, oh, there's activity around my house. I have bad luck. Okay, I got spirits haunting me. I got voices. I got stuff touching me in my sleep. Set up an altar. Put some, put some food out on the altar. Light them up a little candle. Talk to them. Be like, hey, I know you're around. You know, I'm, I'm lighting this altar for you guys. Here's some energy. Here's some food. I recognize you. You're very powerful. You know, I really love the way that you're so effective. You know, butter them up. <laughs> I have some work for you to do, too, if you want to work with me. You know, I have lots of things that we can do together. You know, y'all seen that movie, Venom? Same thing. He could have let Venom uh, kill him, but he went, he rolled with Venom. <laughs> and him and <laughs> Okay. Go, if y'all haven't seen Venom, go watch Venom. I think it's on demand. You have to pay it to rent it or whatever. But you don't fight it. You work with it to let it make you stronger. Okay. Don't try to, don't be scared. You know, See it as power that is in your proximity that you can grasp, harness, and use. Okay? Think about the Black Panther suit. Think about Venom. Work with it, not against it. Whatever is against you is for you. Y'all haven't figured this out yet? Okay, this is why I'm talking about the level of consciousness that you're on. Depends on how you deal with curses and bad energy and bad luck. Mm -hmm. 
So you have to make sure you're not scared because fear is your number one enemy. And fear it comes from what you've been programmed to think because you don't have any knowledge on what else to think. So you just believe whatever you were told. So getting knowledge is going to help you, first of all. Breaking the program is going to help you. Um, getting to a higher level of knowledge and consciousness will definitely help you. Um, understanding why a person would do these things to you is also helpful. Understanding their reasoning behind it. You know, what is it about me that they don't like? Oh, I'm great. Wow. This is because I'm great. Now, how powerful can you feel that someone's going to take the time and energy to curse you because you are great? That right there shows their fear. So you're obviously more powerful than them in the first place. Second place, you're obviously getting more attention or whatever than they are. So they feel the need to stop you. And they're going to send something powerful or some spirits that are powerful to stop you. Power recognize power. Okay, so these energies are powerful that have been sent to stop you or, you know, trip you up. They're going to recognize your power and you're going to be like, hey, I recognize. I like it. You can really do some stuff. You know, I got to get a new car because of you. But. Do you want to work together? Because I think we can build something great. Instead of destroying me because I'm so powerful, let's see what we can do together. You know what I'm saying? So don't be afraid. Use that energy for your betterment. Anything that comes against you is supposed to make you stronger. If you are in the right mindset. An alchemist knows this. Okay. Um. So, do it. Mm -hmm. Set you up a little altar, get the little candles going, get the little uh, food offering, fruit, candy, whatever, and tell them this is for you. Because energies are going to enter the planet so much more now because it's open. So, you know, you might as well make friends with it. Just like on the movie Bird Box. All them crazy people, they were happy to see what they saw. I'm trying to tell you because they worked with that stuff. They weren't afraid of it. Shoot, they were probably seeing those things before, you know, um, anybody else was. Talking to it, making making deals and laughing at what's getting ready to go down. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> I'm just being honest. Thank you, Betty J. Thank you, girl. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Happy New Year. So make friends with any energies that come against you. Remember, energy is neither good nor bad. Energy is energy. You create the frequency of that energy. You tame the beast. You know what I'm saying? So... <sighs> Get it. That's what I would do. Like, think about it. In the movie Venom, if you saw the movie Venom, that um, I call it the dark energy, but that the dark alien goo said, Me and you, he was talking to the his host, me and you are not so much different. I like you. You see that? So power recognizes power. You know, like recognizes like. Frequency recognizes frequency. Vibrate. You're already vibrating on a powerful frequency of someone sent harm against you or some spirits or some energy against you. Already powerful. So whatever comes against you is going to recognize that power. And wouldn't you rather link up with power than to try to fight power? Wouldn't you rather hook up with power? So... Thank you for your guidance and understanding darkness, understanding their shadow side has helped me understand and embody balance. Well, that's good. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, we got to we got to we have to adopt those energies that people are taught to fear. We got to adopt them and work with them because 
they're neither good nor evil. They're just put on a frequency. And if you're powerful and they've been sent to trip you up or stop you, and they're supposed to be powerful, they will like you more than the weakling. <laughs> okay? So put, put some little offerings out. Shoot, they would rather work with you. You see what I'm saying? Steal them like I do. I'm sure people have sent stuff on me that has never manifested because I steal them. All of them. Like, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> you know, steal them and use them for your own good. All they're doing is sending me more power and energy. That's all. That, I don't think, I don't even think like that. I don't even think that people send things to me. But if they did, it would only make me more powerful. In my mind, anyway. Okay. If y'all hear something, it's Rico, my dog, snoring under there. Okay. Um, they will be my sons. Exactly. Powerful candle magic for the new year. Yes, I'm going to be doing my um, New Year's for the new year. Because everyone got... A lot of people got their uh, prosperity um, working before New Year's, which was good because they were already good. You know, after New Year's, I'm going to do another one tomorrow on Thursday for the, the ones that didn't get a chance. So uh, y'all can like email me the mob out section if you only for getting on the uh the prosperity work and it is it does cost but it's less than uh individual because it's all done live and all that extra energy is going to make it so much more powerful i've already had a lot of people say that it's already it was already working the second day so um can you speak more on the conduit of the universe concept that you spoke that i touched on before um being a conduit, let's see, it's the same as being a computer without putting anything in the search bar. You're limitless. Thank you, Celestial Gaming Goddess. Love and appreciate you, Plasma Gang. Hey, girl, Plasma Gang. Thank you for the donation. Um, I do have merch because they have this new thing on YouTube where you can buy, where you can create merch. And it's usually below the description bar. It's, I have t-shirts that say the plasma. And I have another um, shirt. I even have coffee mugs, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and stickers that say I survived, I survived the shift. And I have the same that says the plasma. So I think a few people have purchased those. So thank you. Um, that's, that's my merch. I didn't want to put my name on it, you know, because that's... So I just put some of my sayings. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got money deposited that night when we did it? All right. I told y'all it works because of all that energy focused. And my altar is very powerful because I steal spirits from haters. <laughs> um, and they like me because I know what to do. Okay. <laughs> yep, I still I still men, I still spirits. <laughs> it's the same thing. Um let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> Do you steal spirits and transmute them to they're they're not negative or positive. <laughs> they're not negative or positive. They just they were sent to do a job. Sasha's in there laughing. <laughs> Sasha, I didn't know you were in there. <laughs> She's in my closet laughing. Sasha, I didn't know you were in there. I forgot. <laughs> she said, Okay. All you do is they like you anyway because you're powerful. And if your altar is better, you got more offerings or you got more energy or they like what you, they like you more, they're going to work with you. 
<laughs> if you know more about them than whoever sent them, if you understand them on a higher level of consciousness, they're going to gravitate towards you. You know, you ever had you ever had a friend that was deep on your same level that you could talk to for hours on end or one that just knew about Wicca and um, that you couldn't really talk to but for more than five minutes because they asking you all the questions. You know, it's the same thing. They're going to like you better. The higher you vibrate, the higher you make them vibrate because they see, oh, she understands me more than this other person. She knows what I like. We're going to do great things. You know, so it's the same thing. And it's not a particular name, not a particular god, goddess, energy, demon, angel. It's just the energy, okay, that is understood. The best offering is always candlelight because it's fire energy. It is plasma. It is ether, okay? Fire energy, water, and fire are always going to be really good. If you want to add some extra stuff, you know, dark foods, chocolate. Okay, if you if you want to put some meat on there, I mean, really think about it, like what you're working with, the type of energy you work with. You know, I don't do the meat and all that kind of stuff, but if if I did, I would be putting melanated, dark um, kidney, liver meat from goats and sheep and cows from the butcher on there, like they did in the old days. But I ain't gonna do all of that, so I just put some dark chocolate. Okay. <laughs> or some berry, some dark berry. There's some uh, whatever, you know. Fruit. Vegetables have a lot of it. Mm -hmm. What do you lay your edges down with? My hand. They ain't laid. That's just my hair. That's my hair. <laughs> um, how do you increase your flame energy push your own energy into it or call for added extra energy from the ethers push your own energy into it from here um, a, a lot of people study uh, fire breathing is what they call it or the Whatever. Raise your energy. Push it in there from your from your root chakra and push it out through your hand. If you don't know how to do that, then um, just focus all your energy into that flame growing. Mm-hmm. You rub your hands. And the heat of the flame touch you through it out. Okay. You've changed my life. Blessings and abundance. Thank you so much. I'm glad I'm changing people's lives. That's that's a compliment. I appreciate that. Does a threefold count if you hex an awful person? I don't even know what the threefold is, baby. The threefold to me is body, mind, and soul. Okay. <laughs> that's the threefold to me. I don't know what y'all. I don't. I'm not on that level anymore. Okay. Goddesses, gods, goddesses don't live by threefold anything but body, mind, and spirit. No. Body, mind, and soul. Um, just think about it. Just think about the God of the Bible. Let's think about this. The God of the Bible destroys a city or kills some people. Is he worried or she worried about threefold law? No. <laughs> Only humans worry about threefold law because they've been told about threefold law. So they fear threefold law. Therefore, they attract threefold law. Okay. So threefold law is put in place for emotional people that make rash decisions based on emotion. Okay. 
because I've had people come to me, I want you to do a spell on this person and make their life living hell. And I want you to kill them and make death spells and do all this kind of crazy stuff. Then the next day, did you already do the spell? I don't do it. Oh no, I was, we, we made up and no. That's what threefold law is for, those people that can't control emotion. When, you're, when you've reached a point where you don't need threefold law, you recognize that it's not real. It was only put in place for those who can't control emotion. It was put in place for those on a separate or different level of consciousness. Okay. Um... <laughs> How can you undo a love binding spell that you did on someone? Um, you still have the stuff that you did the spell with, or you just do an unbinding spell. Mm -hmm. Just light a candle and say, I unbind such and such, and release them. You know, it's all in your mind, so that's how you do it. The email in my about section on my YouTube channel page. Yes. For if you want to pay for the working for prosperity. Mm hmm. Never good. Just never a good thing to make decisions when you're upset. Exactly. And, you know, I used to tell people, come back to me in two days. If you still want it, then we can talk. You know, but I don't do those spells anymore. I only do prosperity workings because that's what you, most people really just need. <laughs> and that's the answer to most problems, prosperity. So, <laughs> it's true. People who are in love or trying to control a man or trying to force a man to be with them that they don't want... You know, usually that person's not for you anyway. So, um, and another thing, if you had a certain amount of money and you could level up how you live, your lifestyle, how you look, you wouldn't even be dealing with such men. Okay, so you just need prosperity. That's all you need. <laughs> so I'm not doing any... You know what I call love spells? If you're not already married and you're just trying to strengthen the love you already have, I call them um, pick me spells now. Pick me, pick me. I'm over here. Please pick me. Okay. <laughs> if you can't get them to pick you, they don't want you. Simple as that. So no more doing, I don't do those spells anymore because I feel like I'm doing you a disservice and <laughs> taking away precious time of your life by giving you hope for someone that is only there to A, use you, B, take what you already got, and C, plan to leave you as soon as they find your upgrade. Okay? <laughs> so, no, I'm not helping anybody stay in love with somebody that doesn't want them. Okay. Yeah, family love. Husband and wife that are in that same house happy. That's a love spell. Not a he he won't stop cheating on me. That's not a love spell. Because he can't, he don't love you. So how can I do a love spell on him? Love spell is to increase the love that's already there or to make it strong. If he and if he say it, he loves you and he's doing the opposite of what people that say they love you do, then it's not true. So it's still not gonna work. Okay. So enough of that. Stop emailing me for love spells. I don't do them. And not because I don't believe in them. It's because I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm not wearing Huda today. I'm wearing Born This Way by Too Faced. Mm-hmm. My ex is a well-known figure with the fashion industry. I'm also a model as well. How can I get her back? Get some more money, baby. <laughs> Women always respond to money. Prosperity spell, baby. 
Okay. <laughs> Sasha left my closet over. And the light on. Um, I have two different shades in the well now I've gotten darker. So you mm -hmm. usually get lighter in the winter. It must be the new sun. This is the shade I use called Brulee. Okay. Thank you. What causes scarcity mindset? Programming. People have been programmed to think that they will never have anything. They don't deserve things. And they can't um, afford things. Or they can't improve on their lifestyle or whatever. They've been programmed to think that. And um, I feel like people that believe that buy into it and they make that program even stronger. So I don't I don't like to um, you know push things that say, oh well, you know, yeah, your riches are in the heavens, but they're also here on earth as above, so below. Okay. <laughs> Right. It's in the 80s in Florida. Yep. That was a quick winter. Do you still use your scrying mirror? I use it on my altar all the time. Mm -hmm. I use it as a portal. If you cheat, you can't pair bond. What? If you cheat, you can't pair bond. If you cheat and you get caught, you can't pair bond. You forgot the put get caught. If if you're okay, if you marry, uh, this is more for my other channel. If you didn't marry for loyalty or love or whatever, sometimes you, most people don't care. Look, as long as that, as long as that lifestyle is intact, you don't care. If you married for love and oh, this is my twin flame, and and then they cheat on you and they break your heart. And they shatter the fairy tale and they break a part of you, then you have to live with that realization. You gotta live with it. And it's, 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 you can't live with it, especially if you're sitting there working and paying half the bills. It's hard to live with a cheater who broke the fairy tale, broke your heart, and all that kind of stuff, and making you go to work and pay bills. It's hard to live with that. So, choose wisely. There. I don't do I don't do spells that involve children and getting them back because people lie about the circumstance. So I can't be too sure who's lying or telling the truth. So I do not do any of those type of spells. I'm so sorry. I'm sure there's other workers that do, but I don't. Um, right. Why would spirit manifest itself to be seen, but not say or do anything other than manifest?